There are some certain misfortune protein molecules that acts like a virus but is never a virus and we call them prions and in this video we will be discussing about them. Before proceeding what prion, what these prions are, let's clear the following terms first. First thing we see here is PRNP. It is a gene in our DNA that's present on chromosome number 20 and this gene encodes for a protein called prion protein. So remember we have a prion protein and it has some functions in our body. Second thing we see here is prion protein that I have already told. It is denoted by PRP raised power C. Why C here? Because it's cellular prion protein. In order to differentiate it from the another abnormal protein which we are going to discuss later on. So this PRPC protein or prion protein it's present on surface of cells and most probably it's present on neurons that are present generally in our brain and these neurons that have got these prion proteins are used during synapses so they have this type of function and ultimately we can understand what prion is prion is a misfolded version of prion protein misfolded version of PRPC and the misfolded version of PRPC is denoted by PRP raised power SC and why SC here because it's a scrappy form that is related to the disease which was discovered later on by this prion protein scrappy disease in sheep. That's why it's called PRP SC prion scrappy form protein. So basically the prion is proteinaceous agent, a proteinaceous infectious particle. So we see here the PRPC form that is a cellular prion protein form is a normal form. It gets transformed into PRPSC form that is the misfolded prion protein or we can say evil protein because it damages other proteins, it damages other cells so we call it a scrappy form. Now we will see how this PRPC form that is the normal form of prion protein gets transformed into a scrappy form that is the abnormal type which is lethal to the other cells. So we have a protein here its primary structure a newly synthesized protein rapidly attains a molten globule state and after that the folding continues and we have the tertiary structure or we can say we have a correctly folded protein but during protein folding there are some errors proteins get misshaped and then these misfolded proteins are sent for wrapping and this wrapping is done by chaperone molecules and these chaperone molecules catalyze the misfolded protein and gets it corrected to the original form. But if the misfolded protein does not get corrected, it's sent for proteolysis and is degraded eventually. This is the whole process during the protein folding that occurs in our body. But in case if the misfolded protein is prion protein, it has resistance for proteolysis and remains undegraded in the body. So it evades the proteolysis process. So we call these undegraded proteins, misfolded proteins, prions. And these prions can transform other normal PRPC proteins to scrappy form. So thereby causing several disease. And finally these prions cause proteopathy. What this proteopathy is? Proteopathy, these are the diseases caused by structurally abnormal proteins which disrupt some cellular functions. What is the reason behind these prions that makes them protease resistant? It lies in its structure. If we see the structure of both these proteins, the normal and misfolded one, first of all we see the PRPC, that is the normal protein. We have alpha helices here, almost 43% and beta sheet are only 3% here. On the other hand we see the misfolded version, that is the prion. It has got alpha helices 30%, beta sheet as high as 43%. Almost 40% extra from the normal version. So it's this 43%, these beta sheets that are resistant to the protease enzymes that makes them the protease resistant. These prions can cause neurodegenerative diseases. It causes several spongiform encephalopathies like 
mad cow disease, scrappy disease, kuru and others. And this was all about prions and what they are capable of doing in our body if they infect the other cells. I hope you like a video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.